Well, there's the main square of Lisbon. Today we're gonna go to Barreiro, which from right here we can hop on a ferry and go across the river to a city called Barreiro, which I've never been to. And I think Barreiro is gonna be pretty cool. Here's the train station. Uh, not the train station, here's the boat. Ferry station, sorry. Oh crap, we're just gonna miss the ferry because it's here and I don't have a ticket. I don't know where to buy one. All right, took me a hot minute to figure out how to buy a ticket, but I think we figured it out. Holy cow, these are so different from the ones where you go to Almada. I want leg room, so let's sit here. All right, we've made it. Let's go over to that abandoned train station first thing. I wonder if we can get there straight from here. This is the new train station that all these people are walking up to. But if we go straight down here, we can see the old, much prettier train station. Whew, it's a beautiful day. It's been such a struggle with this jacket. I really don't want to wear it, but the wind is just enough that I would be chilly right now if I didn't have it on. Look in here. So this doesn't look like it was abandoned too long ago. What was this, an old bar? Yeah. That's awesome. You can see in there. Sofluza. I don't know what that means. There was a fruit stand in here. Sporting shop of some kind. Now look at how beautiful this is. I'm glad they haven't torn this down. And I'm glad that they still have access to it because it's gorgeous. Big trees growing up in the middle. Over here would have been a drinking fountain. Or maybe that was the ashtray. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's so pretty with this light coming in, the big arched doorways. I'm already loving Brochet though. Glad I decided to come here today. I was debating on staying in the apartment and just resting. Hey look, giant bottle of Mateus, the original rose. Paul Garnier, Paris. This was a gorgeous train station. I wonder why they abandoned this one and made an ugly new one. Now that would be cool if we could get into those. Oh, it doesn't look like you can. Kids, maybe? Huh. Wow, these were nice trains. Cool looking chairs. The graffiti on the windows makes a cool little uh, light show. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, this must have been a sleeper. These were sleeper cabins as well. All right, well that was fun. There's a butterfly down there. Still got the glass intact up there. That's pretty. Oh, I love this. The Brochedo sign up there. And then we got this lion and some kind of gargoyle above that. And this old wooden door. Wonder how old this train station is. If I Google it, I'll put the, <laughs> put the date here. Oh, it's even cooler from this side. All these wood doors are gorgeous. So glad they didn't tear this down. It seems like something you'd just tear down because it has no value anymore. You want to build something new here, but this has value. The old clock tower stopped at 1236. I'm gonna start a petition to save the clock tower. Now let's go check out the real city of Bajedo. That uh, horn scared me. This building, we're gonna have to go check out the graffiti. I recognize one of the graffiti artists already. Let's see, where do I cross? I guess where the old lady's crossing. Boa tarde. Precisa ajuda? Eu vou para ali para a rua, assim, não importa. Não, não muito longe. 
Eu posso ajudar? É que logo atrás. Ah, ok. De nada. She didn't want my help. She said it was just right across here. So right away, I recognized these hand fish. This artist, I first saw him when we were in, or, yeah, when me and my sister were in uh, the Azores, going to that abandoned hotel. There was one of these painted onto the, the fence. And now I've been noticing him everywhere. This looks like a hippie compound of some sort. Check out that. <laughs> That's the light above the door. So it looks like this is just full of little workshops. Like artist workshops, I wonder? Some kind of like artist collective. I don't see anyone in there though. Still got a lot to see. Better be more selective with what I uh, stop and film. We'll never get through this town. Back across the official crossing section of the tracks. I wonder why they don't have something going over the tracks. Obviously people cross here all day, every day. Oh, I see something across the street we're gonna have to go check out. Bordalo Deutsch, jellyfish made of trash. You can find his stuff all over Portugal. He's from Lisbon. Explicações, 24 hours a day. You can go there 24 hours a day for explanations. And I don't think you'll find any though. These are new apartments that have been bricked up. Look, do you think they went bankrupt, the people who are making these? That's sad, that looked like it was gonna be a nice apartment building. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to walk in here, but there's nothing saying keep out, so. This is pretty, wow, look at those birds up there flying. I just love abandoned places. Feeling so good. Got a real pain in the gulliver, mom. This is so pretty. There are just so many blooming flowers right now. This brickwork around these windows is interesting. And these old dead trees help add to the atmosphere of this place. That is a cool alligator. That is awesome. And look how pretty this looks with these huge palms and everything. Oh my gosh. Do any of you know what that is? I bet I'm the only one. If any of you can tell me the name of this without Googling it, I'll give you a million dollars. Oh, that is awesome. I love how that chimney is still up. Okay, I was unsure about Bajero. I really, <laughs> this morning I was really like, oh man, there's going to be nothing to see. I've never been there. I have no idea what it's like. But how could you beat this? I don't think, oh my gosh, look at those big fish. Probably too far away to see. What kind of fish are those? Catfish? Whoa. Is this thing gonna collapse? What am I even walking on? So far, it seems like I'm the only one over here. I just saw a couple of other huge fish that were like three feet long. I'm gonna kill every guy that got as near as I got to you. Oh, that is sweet. That's pretty. This ceiling, or this roof, is about to cave in. Look at the old wood slats, and then you've got the tiles on top of that. That is so cool. Oh, I wonder how old this is. Feels like you're going back in time. Like, can you imagine who built that when they were putting those pieces of wood up and tiles? How many years ago? All right, we're coming up to the old house. What in the world is that thing in front of it? A refrigerator that's been painted? Yep. Well, let's see what's inside.
books. I wasn't expecting that. Teo and Familia, that's a cool looking child's book. Oh man, I wish I could take this home. This is about my, my reading level. I'm just gonna film the whole thing so that I can read it when I get home. Very cool. The Harlequin novel. Julia. Well, that was fun. Those books were in better shape than my childhood books. The old fireplace. This would have been a pretty house back in the day. Wow. Just imagine this house, how fun it was. Look at that old staircase. <laughs> Four stairs hanging on by a thread. Sitting around the fireplace. <sighs> Makes you sad, doesn't it? Sad and happy, happy to see it. Sad that it's in this state now, but I'm glad it's still here to see. The sand makes it look even older. Got his stuff out drying. Hello. Hello. Do I just look that American that he can just flat out say hello as I walk by? <laughs> yes, I do. I just checked the mapped out route that I plan to take around the town and we've only gone a quarter of the way. Wow, is this like a road of abandoned buildings? This road looks crazy. Oh, now that house is just for pigeons. That's a raggedy looking pigeon. But he's got a big nice house, doesn't he? Love this road. What well time? Hey guys, loving burrito as much as I'm loving it. Another house for the king pigeon. I wish I knew how old these houses were. Oh my gosh, I know this song. This song is by Kino, I think is his name. Cabo Verdiano. That song's over 20 years old. 1876, well that answers that question of how old these houses are. Oh wow, they're redoing this one. That looks cool. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that some Cabo Verdianos live in that house. <sighs> what a great day. I haven't heard that song in so long. I bought that CD when I was in Cape Verde 22 years ago. Man, this is such a cool town. Bajedo for the win, y'all. Bajedo for the win. And you've got a movie club right here. Can I join, please? <laughs> okay, correction. I did not buy that CD when I was in Cape Verde. 22 years ago, I bought the cassette tape. That's how old school I am. That is weird, because I've got this old abandoned one and then I've got this one right here that's been totally revamped. What that? Uh, no, 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 I'm just a I'm a camera, video. Ah, okay, okay. Where are you from? Uh, Estados Unidos. Ah, Estados Unidos. Sí. Sí, ¿y vos es? I'm Portuguese. Portuguese. Gypsy Portuguese. Gypsy Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. Ah, interesante. Yeah. Vos es Morinca en Bajedo? Yeah, sí. ¿Y gosting? Yeah, we like. Yeah? Yeah. ¿Y vos es fala inglés muy bien? I speak a little bit. Yeah. Es <laughs> <laughs> gusta mucho, es es muy bonito aquí. You, you, YouTuber? No? Quiero ser. Ah. Tal vez un día. Oh, it's a police station. Wow, so they redid the police station. Look at myself. The hard thing about speaking Portuguese with Portuguese people is that they see that you speak English and they want to speak English because they all speak English really well. And they definitely speak English better than I speak Portuguese, so then it's hard for me to ever practice my Portuguese. Look, it's Harry Potter. He grew up and became a priest. I like how they just painted in the people in the windows. So that poor kid's in bars. So I think we're leaving the old town part where people lived and we're just getting to the industrial section, which is the whole main section over here. But sadly, it's all, look at that, it's all abandoned now, none of it's being used. Wouldn't it be fun to go exploring that? I wonder how you'd get up there. That's a hazard, all these things up like that.
I just watched a uh, documentary on Andy Warhol. What a weird guy. Every time I see something like that, I think of Joe versus the volcano where he worked. And this looks like an old mural, probably dedicated to the old workers of the factories here. And this is an interesting mural because it's not graffiti, it's just been chipped away. You can see that he, uh, the artist chipped away all the little pieces of this mural. And it goes all the way across here, across the road so we can get a better view of it. Is it just me or does that guy look like Henry Fonda? Right here in front of this area is this mausoleum of Alfredo da Silva. Buried up there in that tomb, you guys. It says Alfredo da Silva up there. Can't make out the rest of the words. But here it looks like all the workers are mourning him that used to work in his factories. And up there it looks like there might have been at one time flames coming out. So that's quite an impressive place to be buried all by yourself, kind of lonely. But at least you got these statues of workers mourning you. Can't go in. So is he in here or is he up in there? I hope he's up in there. Buried along with the Elder Wand. <laughs> All the locks and keys you could ever ask for. Wow, look at this. You can donate to this graffiti artist by Bitcoin? That is smart, wow. If you guys wanna donate, we'll see what this looks like. Support your locals, it says. Can't really tell what any of it is besides a girl wearing a bikini top and a guy military dude holding a gun. Oh, th that must be representing the revolution. He's got a carnation at the end of his barrel, which was a symbol for the revolution. 25 de abril, that was the day of the revolution. Another Bitcoin symbol. This guy really wants money. And another donation thing. I like it though. Pretty good looking. All right, let's go to Forum Barredo. Get some Burger King in our butts. I mean, in our guts. I got McDonald's instead of Burger King. <laughs> so this is what the mall looks like here in Bajedo. Pretty nice, I like plants up there. But let's get out of here. Wow, that was where we were just inside. I didn't realize there was apartments on top. Doesn't that look completely different from the rest of Bajedo that we've seen so far today? And over here we've got back to normal, back to old school Bajedo. A big mural here coming up. That is the ugly one. <laughs> I usually don't want to speak bad about anything, but that kid is like so angry. Probably because he's like half the size of the wheel of that bicycle. It's in its last days, five dollars for shoes, clothes, and accessories. I always say dollars when I mean euros. That's how I imagine Brajedo used to look. Well, we've already seen so much here in Brajedo, I don't know if there's anything left to see. Go big or go home. So I guess we'll go home. Oh, you're a cutie. <laughs> Yeah, sniff my crotch. Whose dog are you? Hm? Well, we've seen everything there is to see, well, that I plan to see here in Bajedo, so... I'll just sit here and let my lunch digest, and then we'll make our way back over to the boat and go home. 1873. Alright guys, that was Bajedo. What was your favorite part? I think I liked going through that old Quinta and finding the books in the refrigerator. <laughs>